I know we've talked about lotions and potions and different things that really command a higher gross margin. What are some ones that come to mind where you would say this is characteristically a higher margin, less commoditized product? It's hard to talk about that distinction, Mills, with a little uh, a little bit talking about brand and differentiating. If you take any one of the zillion start an e-commerce business courses, they're going to tell you to go to Alibaba, find the thing, silk screen your logo on it and import it and sell it on Amazon. That is a freaking race to the bottom because your product is not differentiated. You don't have a brand. That same factory in Alibaba is selling it to 10 other dudes and your net, it's going to be a race to the bottom and talk about things that destroy your gross margin, race to the bottom on price. The only way you can hold price is if you've got something actually differentiated. The more commoditized it is, that you will see lower gross margins. The more differentiated it is, you'll likely see higher gross margins. So if you think about things that get commodified, if you can pick it up, hold it in your hands and know exactly what it is. And you think about something that has some more je ne sais quoi brand power that can command higher gross margins, like a jar of skin cream. Like I can just believe because the brand on it, there's some magic in that jar. And I can't necessarily directly compare two brands of skin cream. I mean, even like granola bars, protein powders, generally like a wooden board would be an example of something that's bad. You can just see that and you can directly as a consumer go, that board's the same as this board and that one's 5% cheaper, I'm gonna buy that one. Yep. Um, so you want something that can be differentiated. 